Loki Season 2 Episode 3 Ending Scene Explained Loki's newest episode concludes with a major ending scene, setting up new secrets and a dynamic future for the future of the TVA and Ravana Rensayer. Joined by the Time Variance Authority's sentient AI Miss Minutes, it's been revealed that Ravana was sent to a branch timeline in order to create a new E who remains. However, there seems to be a hidden truth about the TVA concerning both Ravana's past and future. As seen in Episode 3, the new E who remains variant named Victor Timely makes his official MCU debut. Living on a branch timeline in 18 1993, Timely is an inventor who was given a TVA guidebook as a child. This was thanks to Ravana and Miss Minutes who are apparently following the posthumous orders of he who remains himself. However, their pans go awry thanks to Loki and Agent Mobius needing Timely to save the current TVA while Sylvie simply wants to kill Timely. As such, the episode ends on a surprising cliffhanger, particularly regarding Ravana and he who remains. What's happening to the end of time? Banished to the Citadel at the end of time, it looks as though the entire fortress is falling apart around Ravana, slowly crumbling away to nothing. Having already been cracked in the finale of Loki Season 1, perhaps he who remains was the only thing keeping it all intact in this rather volatile temporal space known as the Void, though it could also be connected to the growing multiverse. At any rate, it does look as though Ravana would have been trapped here as Sylvie intended, though Miss Minutes was shown to be quite familiar with the Citadel as seen in the finale of Loki Season one. Miss Minutes probably knows how to free Ravana and help her escape the end of time. Then, the duo will likely plan their next moves which may involve taking down Victor Timely and the TVA as it currently stands. Perhaps they'll even try to find a brand new variant to become he who remains. As it currently stands, it's hard to gauge their exact motivations and plan in the episodes of Loki Season 2 still to come. How long has passed at the end of time? Considering the decay of he who remains body, it does look as though a significant amount of time has passed since he was killed by Sylvie in the finale of Loki Season 1. At the very least, a good amount of time has passed between then and Ravana now standing in the Citadel in Episode 3. However, Time works differently both in the TVA and at the end of time, so the actual passage of said time is naturally relative and hard to exactly quantify. Regardless, it's clearly been long enough for the Citadel to be falling apart and a multitude of new branch timelines to grow with an ever-expanding multiverse. Likewise, new variants of He Who Remains have started appearing throughout the MCU as seen in both Loki Season 2 and in past MCU projects such as Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania with the Council of Kings. Clearly, the effects of he who remains death are being felt to a high degree.